미끄러운 빙판 위에서 이루어지는 빙상 경기는 최근 재미와 스릴 감동까지 안겨주고 있습니다. 우리 대한민국 선수들이 좋은 활약을 보여주고 있어 더욱 그러한데요. 서울 세계선수권대회를 앞두고 있어 더욱 관심이 가고 있죠. 기록 싸움인 스피드 스케이팅보다 순위 싸움인 쇼트트랙은 경쟁이 심해 플레이 중 넘어지는 장면을 많이 볼수 있습니다. 가끔 안타까운 장면도 많이 나오고 있는데요. 그런데 넘어지고도 포기하지 않고 끝까지 경기에 임하는 우리 선수들을 볼때 감동까지 더해지고 있습니다. 넘어지고도 금메달까지 획득해 놀라움을 주는 경우도 있었습니다. 오늘 준비한 미방형 경기도 놀라움의 연속인데요. 한번 확인해 보겠습니다. Welcome now to Balan Sholak Arena for the men's and women's short track 1000 meter event. The women's race would kick things off here with athletes from China, Korea, Japan, and Poland. You can see the start list here for this women's final race. As they kick off, it was neck and neck between all five of these athletes, China. And Japan taking a quick lead, Korea in the end. And middle of the pack, that one is the Polish athlete. Five laps to go here. Both Koreans in the end of the race here. China still in first. Poland in second and Japan is in the third place position now with four laps to go. But the Korean athletes would make some big moves in this lap, both of them getting right ahead of Japan and they would make it around Poland as well. Taking the first position here. Great move there by the Korean. But number 20, Elan Kim, would be knocked out. And at the end of this one, the Polish athlete would receive a penalty. You can see here she's still in third place. But she will receive a penalty at the end of it. Korea ending in first, China second, Poland third. But like I said, she will receive a penalty. So Japan's Nakano, she will move up to that third spot position, grabbing that bronze medal. Take a look here now. Korea grabs the gold. China, the silver, and like I said, Japan earning that bronze medal. 경기 중반까지 맨 뒤에 있어야 했던 불리함과 후반 기마랑이 넘어지는 불발 상황에도 끄떡하지 않고 알마티 동계 유니버시아드 1000m에서 금메달을 차지한 임경원. 2년 뒤 러시아 크라스노야르스크에서 열린 29회 대회의 같은 부문에서도 우리 선수들의 활약은 이어집니다. 이어서 보도록 하겠습니다. Come to the line, the Russian on the inside. Oh. Clean start. Efremenkova out front. The two Koreans sitting in second and third. Monvazen. Happy to just hang out the back. Pace has already skipped up a notch. But Park G1 taking to the front. Efremenkova now slipping between the two Koreans, as does Monvazin. Park G1 up front. Kim Lang at the back at the moment. But Kim making a move around the outside, and just like that, the two Koreans are one and two as they come round the bottom bend. Kim Alang, double Olympic gold medalist in the relay team for Korea in Sochi and Pyeongchang 2014 and 2018, leading her teammate. Monvoisin sticking in there in third place. Efremenkova not too far back in fourth. Uh, another burst of speed from the Koreans. 
but the door opened up for Aurelie Monvoisin, who's in second place, and Evremenkova comes up the outside at the bell. It's Kimmer Lang from Monvoisin. Evremenkova coming around the outside of the bend. She's coming around the outside. Can she go for the medal? No, it's Kim Ah Lang of Korea who takes gold here in the 1,000 metres. Aurelie Monvoisin really tried hard to get past her, but couldn't. And a late challenge from Ekaterina Efremenkova gets bronze for Russia. But Kim Alang is the champion. Oh, what a race that was. Knew it was going to be a thriller, a real challenge. Aurelie Monvoisin taking the gold yesterday, has to settle for silver here today because the lady of the moment is Kim Art Lang, bursting around the outside from the back of the field, takes the lead. And just saw Park G1 slightly getting in the way of uh, the Russian Efremenkova, but on the line, ooh, now how close was it between Monvazan and Efremenkova? I think Efremenkova just didn't quite do enough. And there you have it. Very, very close between all three. And Ludovic, uh, Matthew, absolutely delighted. But there's the biggest smile of our life. Brilliant stuff in the A final. And there is confirmation. Gold medal will go to... 김아랑의 활약으로 29회 동계 유니버시아드에서도 여자 1000m 금메달을 차지한 대한민국 쇼트트랙 대표팀. 올해 1월 미국 레이크 플래시드에서 열린 제30회 대회에 같은 부문에서도 우리 선수들의 활약이 빛났는데요. 그 영광의 순간을 함께 보시겠습니다. The A final coming up next, Choi Minjun, winner of the 500 and 1500, Seedle, Stoddard, Seo and Kim complete the lineup. So three Koreans in this lineup. So they're all getting to the front straight away. And Choi just coming around the outside. Seidel deciding, or Seidel, I should say, deciding to go back to the front. And now it's uh, Sio moving up into second. Only for Choi to nick that one back. Seidel going back up front. So settling into second with Choi just tucking up behind her. Stoddard in fourth. Third Korean Kim Jun Hee sitting at the back. Choi moves up into second. And here comes Kim and Seidel still pushing at the front. Seidel from Choi from Seo. Now Choi breaks to the front. She's pushing out. Seidel's going with her. Seidel determined to get onto the podium here. Sio sitting in third. Kim in fourth. Stoddard at the back. They go to the bell. Choi leading the way. Can Seidel hold on? In fact, can she challenge? Sio looking to see if she can get up the middle, but it's Choi from Seidel. Well, this was super close on the line. Choi getting it from Seidel and Sio, but it was jolly close at the end there, you have to say, very close indeed. Choi Min Jung provisionally with a hat-trick of sprint wins here in the World University Games of 2023. It's only a matter of time before Choi decided to take to the front and then from there, once she gets up front, she doesn't give any room to anyone. Remarkably close on the line though. This is super close. Don't quite get to see how close it is from that angle, but this is a perfect angle and Choi doing it, but only just, you have to say, brilliant race from Seidel to put up a challenge. Choi 
Min Jun from Korea taking gold from Seidel of Germany. Seo from Korea getting the bronze medal. Icharam, Uri Tayan Mingok Shot Trek Deputinen, Uriga Bonen Gosesoden, Grotze Anen Gosesoden, Nunbushin Hariagel Yoan in Deo. Aprodo Iran Motchin Hariagel Boyojul Suikiri Kiwanamida. Yongsang Ei Tetkaji Shichong Ejushasok Hamsa Amida. Kudukwa Joa Yonen, Yongsang Jejake Kunimidemida.